Hi there, I'm Alex from the Southern Ukulele Store and I'm back once again today to do a very special episode of Off The Peg. Now Off The Peg was a series I tried for a couple of months towards the end of 2019 where we profiled three ukuleles without any talking in between. So I'm going to try a slightly different take on that format today. I don't have quite long enough to film a long video but I have several ukuleles that I really want to profile. So we're going to look at three completely different tenor ukuleles today from different brands made in different places, completely different things. We're going to look at a Carla Elite, a very special Canalea Diamond model, and then finally the Snail S60T. So the first ukulele we're going to look at today is this lovely Carla Elite, which we first saw at NAM this year. This is a solid spruce top, solid rosewood back and sides, USA made Carla Tenor. It has just everything going for it. It's the only ukulele we're going to play that's strung and tuned low G, so prepare for that when you hear the audio sample in a moment. That's how Carla like to send them, and it's hard to argue that that's not the best way to do it, because these ukuleles just have so much depth to them, and the spruce is loud, the rosewood is a loud combination. It's a fantastic gigging ukulele, this, and one of my favourite ukuleles I've seen in the last couple of years. Very understated to look at. There's no denying that it's quite plain on the surface to look at, but for around the same price as a Canalea K1 or a Coaloa KTM 00, this is a USA-made instrument with a 38mm nut that just offers tone, volume, and a really diverse range of sounds. So I'm going to give this one a play, and we'll be back in a moment. Okay, the second ukulele we're going to look at today is the Canalea Diamond Super Tenor. Now, the Diamond model was quite significant in Canalea history. It was designed as a special edition model by Joe Souza with his son Kaimana to celebrate one of Kaimana's significant birthdays. I think it was his 21st birthday. Kaimana means diamond in Hawaiian, so this is the Kaimana, the diamond model. And it features master grade koa on the top, back and sides, which we're going to show you in close up now with a gorgeous mango rosette, really nicely figured mango, ebony fingerboard and bridge, and a completely unique to this model diamond inlay on the fingerboard. It also has the super slim Canalea headstock with those stealth tuners from Goto. And the whole thing's just got a really nice aesthetic quality to it that looks completely different to everything else that Canalea do. It's a super tenor as well, which means that it's super. When you play those notes, they have a bit more depth to them, a bit more zing. And the super tenors are not as popular as a conventional tenor, but if you're somebody that's hungry for a bit more of a, uh, a complex sound from your ukulele, then you should definitely consider a super tenor. Canalea super tenors are just divine. I've never played a bad one. Whether you look at the OHA or looking at platinum models, they're just consistently good and have a very rich, very unique sound. Finally, this is another ukulele with a 38mm nut. We're going to give it a play and see what you think. Thank you. 
Okay, and time for one more ukulele today. This is the ever popular Snail S60T. The S60T was introduced about halfway through last year. We didn't receive our second delivery of them until December, and now as I record this in early March 2020, it's become almost impossible to get hold of them for more than a few days. We were very lucky that just yesterday we received a delivery of five of these models and we've listed them individually. So if you're watching this video soon after it goes up live, please do check out the links in the descriptions to see the full range. I picked this one, which was number three, because it's my favorite. And if we look at the up close patterns here of the grain, it's just the most tightly flamed acacia that you'll ever see. Yeah, it's just stunning. It's got Paduke binding along the front and back, as well as Paduke binding up the neck and matching red buttons to match that binding. You have an ebony fingerboard and bridge with abalone inlays and this amazing, completely unique, look at that, the unique abalone rosette around the sound hole there. Some very good tuners too. Uh, it's the total package without I don't want to oversell just how good the Snail S60T is, but I've had plenty of customers come in to try this ukulele and they are comparing it against Rebels, Big Islands, Pono Pro Classics, Kawaloas, Kanaleas, and I'm not going to say it wins every time, but this is a ukulele that many people will feel completely satisfied with and it may not cost them nearly as much as they were willing to spend on an instrument. That's the biggest compliment you can pay an instrument here. So I'm gonna give the Snail S60T a play and I hope you guys love it too.